of myself I don't want you In my head Well guys, I found myself underneath my Vega and uh, doing some maintenance items, putting small tires on, taking wheelie bars off. Found a huge problem. This wishbone was completely 100% stuck and bound up. I'm pretty good about maintenance in these things and uh, I haven't checked it since it got back from the chassis shop, but it was greased and uh, everything seemed fine. But I noticed when we would lower and raise the rear end, We'd have this awful squeak sound, and I thought it was in the any roll bar, and it's not. Um, what I don't know what happened, but somehow this got a burr inside of it or something, and this was absolutely seized up. It put big gouges in this, would not move. Like, I had to really use a lot of force to get this thing out of here. And if you know about wishbones, this thing should absolutely just flow in and out of here with no grease on it. It should not be bound up at all. So, uh... If this can't move, the rear end can't move, and um, that's a problem. So I pulled it out. I got some really fine grit sandpaper, and I did the old vice grip garage loop around the tube trick. Cleaned it up, got all the burrs off of it, and now even before I put grease on it, it's just it flows in here perfectly. So got it greased up, gonna put it back together, and um, hopefully we're good. A few inches later. You have to say action, Ron. Okay, action. Hello, and welcome. Uh, it's raining. It was not supposed to rain today. We're here for early parking at Southside Dragway. There's a big race tomorrow. Happy's in town. He's throwing the moving on up race. They're moving the starting line up. It's going to be a good time. Uh, having said that, we had our campground all set up. Beautiful set up. The audio is going to be trash. It's raining. Ellie won't stop talking. <laughs> Pouring the rain. My dad had already set up the Easy Up tent. Wind came. It was bad. That wind. sucker is a pretzel out there. We about lost the yeah, the awning done. off and, the camper. Um, I had just happened to look outside because we were throwing a diaper away, <laughs> and our awning was like just doing some stuff. And of course, we had just put up cutesy little lights. That was me. Yeah. That was me. Yep. <laughs> well, I'm all wet now. We're going to go to sleep, hopefully get some rest. The weather should be far moved out by tomorrow. It shouldn't be an issue. So, uh, we need to win. I need to win some money back because I've spent a lot of money on my car. And uh, I need to recoup. Well, on to tomorrow. beautiful morning slept okay-ish last night ellie was up a lot it rained like a monsoon last night for just a few minutes track's already dry it's like seven in the morning and uh we're ready to go racing what are you doing here said last I think there's a couple random clips before this one uh, but we just did the chip draw a lot of cars showed up we were a little like worried we were worried little <laughs> and then all at once everybody showed up they said there's well over a hundred cars here 
small tires a little light because they did a budget class and every time they do a budget class you get a bunch of guys who really should be running small tire they jump in that budget class for whatever reason i'm not going to speculate we drew tyler cox second pair left lane um if you're into no prep you probably know who tyler cox is and he's not slow so i actually went and pilfered his car a couple weeks ago to see what kind of setup i wanted to do in the front of my car so uh he's a fast guy we've done a lot of adjustments I got a lot of stuff going on in the back of this car that, you know, if it goes straight, it's going to go. It says I wanted you to get it tucked from the track. Hopefully, <laughs> okay, sure. I don't want you to crash. Me neither. I saw one part that somebody lost their tires, and I saw Chris on there in your car. Oh. Solid. Yeah. So how about we don't crash and we win? How about you don't crash? And we win. <laughs> All right. practicing your burnout foot break she's practicing her foot break You can step on your toes or do something really cool. It's like, what's your? What are you arguing about? So we have a certain amount of weight in the back, uh -huh. and the track is going to improve as the night goes on. Yes. 
And we were second pair down and that thing wheelied. Second pair of the whole race. Yeah. Now all the classes have went. So the track's gonna be a lot better. But it wasn't much of a wheelie. No, but that second pair to what's going out there now, it's gonna bite. So are you you're saying to take it out or you're saying to leave it in and Chris is saying to take the weight out? Well, no, not necessarily. Oh. Trying to debate whether whether we're going to Joseph on a diet or not. Yeah. Mm. Uh, should we take some weight out of the car? I don't know. Okay. It's I'm a. I'm yeah, it's a one of those darned if you do, darned if you don't. Yeah. Things. Or we might go out there and hit it perfect. And I don't know the guy I'm racing. It's Tim Crump. Uh, he lives in Ohio. He just came and talked to me. Never met him before. He has a comet. And it looks like it's a big block nitrous combo. Really super pretty nice car. What even is that? There's Never not heard even of a any comet. band-aids uh, on his car. <laughs> is he even a street racer? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm yeah. sure his car is beautiful. Ours is junk. Again, <laughs> I mean, that's what we're good at. Uh, we'll make a decision. Right. Take, take a shot at it. Yeah, we'll figure it out. It'll okay. go or it won't. And we're second pair. We, we could go. We could go one. We could go one click tire in front and lose the weight. Whatever you think. I don't. I like. I kind of like the tire pressure. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. All right, we need to quit yakking. It's, gonna be like Say, a it's just a. The SpongeBob montage. Yes. We're just doing a a big circle of conversation. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. After all the debating me and Chris did, I went up there and watched the track. Hold on a second. I went up there and watched the track, and uh, they are flying. The track is good. So I think the car is going to wheelie. I don't think it's going to spin the tires. So I took a bunch of weight out and um, put some weight in the front because I think the car might wheelie. And we might leave harder. We might add RPM because I just watched cold. Jesse Bowen go down and holy smokes, he was flying like stupid fast. So we got to really swing for it in this round. And if we make it, we make it. But we're gonna, if we win, we're going to have to race Jesse or Houston and they are flying. Well, and this thing also always picks up speed in the cold air. It does, but I'm not going to pick up. <coughs> Those guys are probably got... 15 oh no i'm not talking me. about that i'm saying in regard to you wheeling yes, it will <laughs> leave harder for sure Yeah. 
Chris is going to do the lighting. Oh. There we go. <laughs> do I have raccoon eyes? No. You look okay. great. All right. Uh, Drew, we're down to four cars. So, I don't know if... I need to turn that compressor off because it <laughs> runs forever. It does. Um, we drew for the next round. We're in third round. We're down to four cars. We started with 18. I thought there was less than that. Started oh. with 18. We're down to four. So, we're in the semifinals. Unfortunately... We drew Jesse Bowen, and man, he's flying. So he's whipped my butt I mean, before. You are also flying. Yeah, and we're gonna try to go faster this time. Um, gonna be a little more aggressive, and I don't know. We'll see what happens. I I'm not gonna guess the light, but I'm gonna try to really nail it, and I have to get a head start on him basically because I've seen his runs tonight, and he's he's going faster than the big tire cars. I mean, let's he's be honest. Insane. You have to run perfect, and he his needs to make car a mistake. He up. needs to give me a little window <laughs> to sneak right in there and get him. I don't know. We're gonna give it everything we got, and Jesse hurt my feelings last time. You know, I owe him some payback. He drove right I think out our light road. just died. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cheapie. All when, right. When when do we go up? I don't know. Relatively I soon. I think they, I think okay. They just called us. Oh. Are you glad we brought the fire pit? Yes. Me too. We're going to test the light. <laughs> uh, Christopher. Yes. Jesse's broke. Oh. We're in the finals. He just came and talked to me. They're going to they, they let us make a fire run? Yeah, I should. I got to go tell Sam. in the final of a happy's race. Yeah. Houston also has a channel. It's yeah. channel too. He's very cold. I am cold. We're all very cold. Yeah. <laughs> Which I appreciate the arms and the pants. That's very nice. But we're in the final. Uh, hopefully he doesn't kick my butt. And uh, oh. no, it's just fun. We've we both already won. Oh, exactly. Uh, yeah. Because we're two West Virginia boys in the final of a happy's race so i yes, couldn't be sir. happier with that so uh, all right they're calling and here we they're go calling us. let's get it <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. 
did we talk after the race or no Houston apparently was a little squirrely I hate that he didn't make a perfect run but I think it would have been a really good race because this car went very fast it went a PR for this track and um, a good time to do it so <laughs> so it was a good time to do it um, I can't be more excited this is a big deal this is a happy's race and not a lot of people can go out and say that they want a Happy's uh, flashlight race. So there's no doubt that we're at least doing something right. You know, we've won some local races and we've done a lot of good. And we've, lo we've won uh, all motor classes and stuff like that. But this was not budget class. We didn't jump down in that class and duck from small tire. We got in the class that I think we fit in and we won the race because as we always say the surface is the equalizer you do not have to have the most horsepower out here to win this race and um we also had some luck i mean jesse not being able to race definitely uh pushed us in the right direction because that dude is flying but you know it's part of racing and sometimes it's just your night yep. so uh i don't know i love being the last one to put my car up it's been a great night i've lost my voice from screaming but thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting us. And uh, here's the issue, okay? <clears throat> My plan was to stay local this next weekend. But in jest, I was talking to Kenzie and Happy earlier, and I jokingly said, if I win today, we're going to War in the Woods. Also, this was not in my presence. I did not approve well, of that. Well, I didn't mean to say it, but I did. <laughs> and... Uh, I'm not saying that we're going to war in the woods, but I don't know. We'll at least discuss it. I'm off, already off next weekend, so we'll see. I don't know. I do want to do war in the woods. Am I ready for it? Absolutely not. There's dudes going out. There's dudes out there going really, really, really fast. Yeah. And uh, but like we shouldn't have won this race either. We won, so there it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to shut up now. It got a little chilly today. A little. As you can see in my breath. And uh, that's all I got. I'm going to shut up. We'll see you next one. Got this. We <laughs> win him a trophy. We <laughs> have to beat them. So yeah. dad can win a trophy. Uh-huh. Then I would be so proud of him winning. <laughs>